Hey there, my name is Uma. In today's video, I'll be going over four reasons why I chose to be a software engineer and why I love it. Let's get into it. The first reason I love being a software engineer is because of the endless applications of software engineering that leads to endless opportunities. So when I was about 10 or 11 years old, I remember being at an airport and seeing a plane take off and land for the very first time in person. I was amazed. I remember thinking, how can something so big go up in the air in one piece and come down in one piece without shattering into pieces? How is it defined gravity? It didn't seem real. I looked to the people around me and I was like, is anyone else seeing this? No, just me. That day was the day I decided I was going to study aerospace engineering and be a pilot. Stick with me here. I promise it'll make sense soon. Fast forward five years later, I'm in college studying aerospace engineering. For the most part, I loved it. I found the general engineering courses like physics and calculus very interesting. I got to the point where I took an aerodynamics class that finally answered how the plane was able to go up and land in one piece. The professor did a great job of explaining and breaking down the forces that act on the plane. Lifts, weights, drag, and thrust. Once the professor explained this, that was it. There was nothing more to it, and there was nothing more to build onto. Those concepts have been there since the beginning of time, and they haven't changed since we discovered them. My interest in aerospace started to decline after taking that course. It was like knowing how a magic trick was done. It was no longer special or interesting, and there was nothing more to look forward to, especially seeing how the designs of planes haven't changed in a while. Yeah, you can make them more efficient by messing around with the engine and tweaking the shape of certain parts, but at the end of the day, aerodynamics will always be the same. There isn't a way to build on top of that. So in my junior year, I looked for a major that was constantly evolving, something that wouldn't bore me after a while and something I could always build upon. So I switched to software engineering and boy, did I make the right decision. Software and computer science can be applied to every industry you can think of and you can do so much with it. My first experience in software was building a web application for a research project on campus. I then moved on to build a website for a department on campus, then transitioned completely to an internship where I wrote code for industrial devices. After that internship, I came back to work on a completely different research project with a different professor in a different field. After that, I did another internship writing software that bridges the gap between suppliers and consumers and now I'm writing software for network devices like firewalls and routers. That's six experiences doing six different things with the same degree, not counting personal projects. Every paying software job I've had has been in a different industry and I'm only about a year and a half into my career. There are so much more areas I can dive into like automotive, aviation, healthcare, wearables, artificial intelligence, and more. The best part about it is that the software application in these fields are interesting and constantly evolving. I can wake up one day and decide I want to work in the car industry or work with planes or even make video games, and I'll have a spot in any of these industries, provided that I put in the work. The second reason I love being a software engineer is the creativity I get to express with each project I work on. Each time I start working on a new project, that project never existed before. Similar to how an artist starts a new painting, each project is a way for me to express an idea that solves a problem. Even if there are programs or apps that do what I'm building my app to do, I can always be creative and add my own twist to it. A lot of problems come up while you're coding and each new problem is a chance to be creative with a solution. One of my computer science classes in college was called Advanced Programming Techniques. It was a class in C and C++, and the whole point of the class was to learn advanced programming techniques. However, we ended up building a game instead. It was a roguelike dungeon map terminal game with monsters, weapons, and all of that. At the beginning of the semester, we started with nothing, and with each passing week, we would learn a new programming concept and use that concept to add features to the game. The first week was building the dungeon, then the next week was adding monsters, then the next was giving the monsters powers, and so on and so forth. By the end of the semester, we had a fully functioning game. My version of the game never existed before I built it, and when I was done, my game was different from everyone else's. Yes, the functionality of the game was the same, but the underlying code and the way we implemented the features were different in everyone's game. This is similar to real life. Two people can code solutions to the same problem that works, but the code and design could look completely different. The creativity I have when designing and writing code is very interesting and can almost be thought of as my artistic expression. The third reason why I love being a software engineer is because of the impact you can have. At any point in time through your career, you could be working on projects that directly impact people. Early on in my career, I worked on building a website for a department at my college. The website had an average of 40 to 50 users per day, which were all students and faculty members, but honestly, that was the most exciting part of the project for me. The fact that people were using what I built. I recently built and published a mobile app to the App Store called Uptill. 
It keeps track of the number of days you have left to an event and keeps track of the number of days after an event has passed, all in a personalized manner. If you're interested in seeing how I made it, I have that video linked up here. Optil currently has 200 users and that may not seem like much, but the fact that 200 people have downloaded and actively used an app that I made with my hand is mind blowing and exciting. There are open source repositories where you can work on projects that directly impact millions, if not billions of people. To think that the code you write and the systems you design are being used by that many people is fulfilling to me. The final reason I love being a software engineer is because of the constantly evolving nature of the field leading to constant learning opportunities. With every new project I work on, I learn something new. Every couple of years, a new technology stack comes out that changes the game and you have to learn it, otherwise you'll be left behind. Some people may not like it, but to me, I find it very interesting. Tech is also a field where you can control your own destiny and be self-taught. Earlier in this video, I mentioned how I switched from aerospace engineering to software engineering. What I didn't mention was that I switched over spring break and couldn't take any software classes until the beginning of summer. So for the second part of the spring semester after I switched, I dropped my aerospace courses and started taking classes on lynda.com, which is now LinkedIn Learning. I used the material I learned from there to get a software developer job beginning that same summer. So within two months, I taught myself the basics of web development and got a job doing web development without taking any college level computer science classes. I used what I learned by myself and that learning hasn't stopped till this day. I still take courses to sharpen my skill or learn a new framework. With every new project, I'm solving different problems and learning something new. Now, software engineering isn't for everyone, and the reasons why I love it could be the same reason someone else doesn't, and that's fine. Everyone is unique and we're all bound to have different experiences. That's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Peace.